I'm Casey Donovan, and together with Amy Malloy, we welcome you back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. On a Monday, our theme for the day is Let's Do This, where we give you mindfulness tips to give you mental clarity. Tonight, we're going to talk about all or nothing thinking. What is it? The downsides? and how you can stop yourself from doing it. All or nothing thinking is when you evaluate your life in extreme terms. At least that's according to Tony Bernhard, the award-winning author of How to Be Sick. The book is a Buddhist-inspired guide for the chronically ill. But you don't have to be unwell to try out her advice. All or nothing thinking makes you evaluate your life in only two ways, she says. It's either perfect or a disaster. You're either a total success or a total failure. This is distorted thinking because life is a mixed bag for all of us. We don't just think about our life like this. We can let this way of thinking creep into how we describe our weeks even our days. Let's try something. How was your day? Oh, it was awful. It was amazing. It was a freaking disaster. It was a total triumph. When we're an all-or-nothing thinker, we erase all of the grey areas. You're missing out on all of the quite good elements. All the medium moments all the small acts of kindness, all the okayness which wasn't amazing or terrible. So, how can we stop doing it? First of all, stop seeing everything that was less than perfect as a failure. With all or nothing thinking, as soon as you fall below 100% in your estimation, that 100% turns to zero, says Tony. So just because your day wasn't flawless, that doesn't mean you should write it off as a failure. Just because the last hour was tricky, it doesn't erase every good bit before it. The simple tool is to be careful with your language. Avoid sweeping statements. When someone asks how your day, week or even year has been, be very specific I had an amazing lunch. I had one terrible meeting. It was going well until I got stuck in awful traffic. We keep things in perspective this way. It helps us recover more quickly and you won't throw your day or your year away. I'm Casey Donovan and this is The Space. Come back tomorrow for another mindfulness tip How changing your font can make you more productive. Space out.